This video is the next in a series of material videos we're looking at. Uh, this one will be about polymers, uh, looking at how to understand and categorize different polymers and different polymer varieties, uh, and also looking at a range of properties of different polymers and their uses. When we look at polymers, the first thing we need to understand is how to categorize polymers into the two separate uh, versions or categories, uh, thermoplastics and thermosets. So thermoplastics, often called thermoforming plastics, um, are in essence made from lots of long strands of polymers that are tangled together. These long strands of polymers are not connected to each other and therefore the forces between them are very weak, so requiring not very much energy to break them down. Because the forces between these long strands of polymers are weak uh, and the energy required to break them down is low, it means that they can be melted, so melted from a solid state into a liquid state to allow the plastic to be moulded into a product. It also means that once it's been moulded into a product and used, when it comes to its end of its life, it can be remelted and remoulded into another product. And this is all because that plastic, a thermoforming plastic, is made of long strands of polymers that are not um, connected together. So therefore, thermoplastics uh, can be easily recycled with the application of heat and remoulding. Um, whereas thermosets that we'll have a look at in a second can't. Thermosetting polymers, on the other hand, once uh, moulded into shape, can never be remelted and remoulded again. And this is because those long um, strands of polymer chains are all linked together with cross-linked molecules, as you can see in the diagram above. I won't get into the chemistry of it, uh, but that just means that the forces... Um, the forces connecting all of the long strands of polymers are very, very strong, and therefore it would require a high amount of energy uh, to break them down. In essence, this means in, in the real world that once set into a solid uh, form, a thermosetting plastic can never uh, melt again. It makes it very useful for a range of products we'll look at in a second, but obviously means that it can't be remelted, remoulded, and recycled in that way. So there are two types of plastic. A thermoforming plastic, commonly known as a thermoplastic, can be melted and remoulded over again. And a thermosetting plastic, uh, once formed into shape, can never be remoulded again. These are the types of plastics that you'll need to know for your GCSE. Uh, in terms of thermoforming plastics, uh, acrylic is used um, en masse in schools. It is a common material that is laser cut. PVC is used for drainage and guttering pipes, also used for the windows, uh, window frames that you see on most houses. You have ABS uh, used a lot for bottles, things that you get detergent and bleach in. Uh, you have polypropylene, high impact polystyrene is the material most commonly used in vacuum formers in schools, uh, and high density polyethene. You also have low density uh, polyethene as well, LDP, which is what you make uh, your soft drink bottles out of. On the other side is thermosetting plastics. They're much less thermosetting plastics. Um, you know, the vast majority of plastics that you would see in the world are going to be thermoforming plastics. The thermosetting plastics you need to look at, uh, urea formaldehyde, polyester resin, melamine formaldehyde, which is used for kitchen worktops, and epoxy resin. Epoxy resin you might use as an adhesive or a glue, uh, brand name Araldite. Uh, we can use that in the workshop. Um, it comes in a resin and a hardener that when mixed together um, will set into a solid polymer, uh, which then will not be remelted again. If we have a look at some of the uses for that, um, so these are some of the uses for your thermoforming plastics. You'll be really used to seeing these triangles at the top of the screen. These are recycling triangles, uh, really commonplace now, came into being in the 80s. Uh, the triangle with the arrows 
mean that that plastic is recyclable. It's a thermoforming plastic, so it can be remelted. Uh, the number in each triangle refers to the type of type of material, the type of plastic. So one PETE, two HDP, um, three polyvinyl chloride, four low density polyethene, five polypropylene, six polystyrene, and seven are others. On that screen, there are uses for each of those types of plastic. I've also written a few little extra interesting notes. I won't go through them all. If we have a look in a little bit more detail about acrylic, uh, acrylic obviously comes in a big range of materials in sheets. You can also get it in rods. Um, we use it on the laser cutter in school for a, a high range of products. It's self-finishing. Um, it can give a really smooth, shiny surface can come in opaque, uh, transparent or translucent colours. Uh, easily recycled well because it can be melted down. Uh, disadvantage however, you'll realise if you've used it, it can be very brittle. Trying to do delicate projects with them, it can crack and snap really easily. And it scratches. Uh, we've got high impact polystyrene is what we use in the vacuum former. Uh, this can be used for a variety of things. Uh, vacuum form products that you will see in supermarkets are things like yogurt pots, fast food um, trays and containers, CD cases, etc. Polyester resin is a thermo setting plastic. Um, this is combined with glass fibers to create glass reinforced plastic which can be used for boat hulls, um, car body repairs, filler etc. Polyester resin on its own can be used uh, as a filler or an adhesive. It's a fantastic material that is a great electrical insulator, very hard, great chemical resistance but most plastics have great chemical resistance, waterproof etc. It resists UV radiation really well as well. Um, you must be aware that when it cures, curing is the drying of the glue. When the glue goes off, uh, it contracts and gets smaller. So that needs to be taken into account in your designing. The last material we'll have a look at is urea formaldehyde. Urea formaldehyde is another thermosetting plastic. Uh, fantastic electrical insulation, obviously. High tensile strength and very tough. Uh, most importantly, though, it won't melt when heat is applied, so it's got lots of uses uh, in uh, products that get warm or get hot. You've seen your ear formaldehyde all over the place in electrical fittings and plugs. Obviously, it uh, creates a good uh, amount of safety there with its electrical insulation and its uh, lack of melting under heat. You can also mix it with pigments to achieve a range of colours. Here are just some general advantages and disadvantages of thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics. The big advantages of thermoplastics is that they can be remoulded through heat um, into different shapes, allows them to be recycled much easier. Uh, so although plastics and polymers uh, are oil-based materials which are unsustainable, it's coming from a finite resource, the ability of thermoplastics to be recycled does give an element of sustainability there. Most of these thermoplastics are tough, except acrylic that we know cracks and fractures. All plastics are chemical and water resistant uh, and really good electrical insulators. You can also add pigments to uh, allow these plastics to come in a range of colours. Unfortunately, thermoplastics will deform easily under heat and stress. And we've said that they come from oil, which is a limited finite resource. Thermosetting plastics, the big advantage here is that it won't melt under heat, like we've said. Uh, generally, they're all tough and rigid and hard, um, really good for products that have heat applied to them, kettles, um, microwave containers and Tupperware, um, microwave uh, meal containers, maybe, um, or electrical fittings. The disadvantage there is that they can't be recycled through being remoulded. Um, you can recycle uh, thermosetting plastics uh, by shredding them up and they can go inside bean bags or soft play items, uh, but they can't be remelted. 
Okay, so that was our video on polymers. We've looked at thermoforming or thermoplastics. Uh,